Assalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullah, wa rakatuhu. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah, mashallah. Um, we had a beautiful session with Shweb. Oh, there are bugs here. Oh my God. <laughs> Just leave it there. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Welcome to Juma. And um, under the tree again, decided to put it under the tree. Okay. <laughs> Ali is putting the pyramid. Mashallah. So we had a beautiful session with, with Shweb, and um, inshallah, we'll have a, a wonderful Juma. Uh, I, um, Mustafa, who is, and welcome to, to each of you. Assalamu alaikum, Shaykh. Wa alaikum as salam. Wa rahmatullah, wa rahmatuhu. Yeah. So, what what do you think, Mustafa? Should we? I I actually since we're we're just a little bit. It's I mean one of three. I'm just going to offer two records. I haven't had the time. So, if you don't mind, everybody, we can all contemplate. I'll let you look at the three. Don't take long. Oh no. Assalamu alaikum again. Alhamdulillah. Sorry, I, I felt uh, strongly like offering the two records, which I had not. So um, I would like to uh, let's have the call to prayer, and then and then we'll begin the the hutba. Uh, have you chosen someone for the call? No, uh, just myself. That's a good choice. <laughs> Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah. أشهد أن محمدا رسول الله أشهد أن محمدا رسول الله حيا للصلاح حيا للصلاح حيا للفلاح 
please shower your greatest blessings and your shakur your gratitude, your love, your mercy, your openings, your inspiration, your revelations upon our beloved Muhammad and prophet of the latter times and prophet of revelation and prophet of beauty, prophet of gratitude, um, who draws humanity into gratitude through the revelation of beauty and uh, praise that is given to him. Amin, 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 alhamdulillah, yidam bin animin. So today I would like to speak about um, gratitude. And um, gratitude is the divine and gratitude from, from our side. And I'll begin by, by um, reading from Sheikh Noor in his uh, somewhat of a commentary on Surah Rahman. And we will be uh, looking at Surah Rahman. The secret of divine mercy is that it eternally overflows with generosity constantly conferring radiant gifts beyond conception upon all living beings. On the earthly plane and on the heavenly plane, as well as on the supreme plane of paradise, this spontaneous and infinite pouring forth of riches is precisely the fountain of essence and its countless gifts are none other than the numberless divine energies from which all souls are woven, each soul a unique and eternal tapestry of unimaginable subtlety. From the divine attributes alone is creation woven as a mystical tapestry, as a diagram of unity. There are no random events. There is absolutely no merely material existence apart from Allah, the All-Living One. All manifestation is divine life, for only divine life exists. Thus creation, both temporality and eternity, is the timeless outbreathing of divine mercy. Mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. And this brings us to recognize the great station of the, of the sheikhs, of the peers, of the mystics who uh, are themselves channels of uh, divine light and, and, and love and through whom we receive in, in, a, in a concentrated form, in an intelligible form to us, uh, Allah's mercy. So it's, we, we think of Allah's mercy as just, you know, kind of vast uh, radiance, but it's to, for us to receive it, we, we need to, to come through certain forms, at least on, on a great part of our path. And inshallah, there will be a time where we receive it, we might say directly, but it is always through the soul of Rasulullah. So everything that comes to us comes through the soul of Rasulullah, of the first light of the Nur Muhammad. So our life is a, a life of, of praise and a life of gratitude. And, and gratitude is linked to, um, to, to praise, to zikr, 
And as Allah has said, zikr is the greatest. So to praise Allah, to remember Allah, to know that we are with Allah and to be grateful to Allah um, is the greatest way to live our life. And um, certainly there are all the, the forms that that will take are individual to each of us. And in the Holy Quran, Allah sets out in, in most of the surahs, uh, reminders, signs uh, of Allah's generosity to us, Allah's overflowing abundance. And we have just read in Sheikh Noor, um, you know, what an, an understanding of that, a vision of Allah's divine mercy. And I'll read to you here from Holy Quran um, passages that I love in, um, in Surah Rum, the Roman Empire. And this is um, beginning with Ayat 20. And among his signs is this, that he created you from dust. And then behold, you are humanity scattered far and wide. And among his signs is this, that he created for you companions from among yourselves, mates, that you may dwell in tranquility with them. And he has put love and mercy between your hearts. Truly in that are signs for those who reflect. And among his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth and the variation in your language and your colors. Truly in that are signs for those who know. And among his signs is the sleep that you take by night and by day and the quest that you make from his bounty. Truly in that are signs for those who hearken, who listen. And among his signs, he shows you the lightning by way both of fear and hope. And he sends down rain from the sky and with it gives life to the earth after it is dead. Truly in that are signs for those who are wise. And among his signs is this, that heaven and earth stand by his command. And then when he calls you by a single call from the earth, behold, you come forth. To him belongs every being that is in the heavens and on earth and all are devoutly obedient to him. Um, what a beautiful reminders to us um, in, in our uh, sleep and, and in our ingratitude and in our taking things for granted and um, in our heedlessness comes this tremendous call, this beauty and the beauty of the of the words the beauty of the visions of um allah reminding us telling us all of this that you are enjoying um is is for me it is for me it is for you it is out of love it is to make your lives beautiful it is part of me um and we can't help when we read this to answer to respond yes yes thank you Thank you, thank you. And so much of um, the Quran, as he says, the lightning. So Quran is like a lightning bolt, you know, from the essence uh, that has both the fear and the hope. And both both of those, uh, and hope is not quite the right word for what it really is. It's it's um, it's maybe. Um, joy or both fear and um and rejoicing and uh at what we we recognize to be allah in allah's gifts uh, manifestation so we sustain that and this is the challenge for humanity but allah continuously reminds us and surah rahman which is in a sense, a, a centerpiece in Quran of gratitude, of abundance, of karim, of generosity. Uh, it's called the divine generosity, surah of generosity. 
and also the reminder, uh, who can deny the infinite generosity of the Lord, of your Lord, of your lover, who can ever deny it? So I'd love to read also something uh, from that. Surah 55, Rahman, the most generous, the most gracious, the most loving, Rahman. It is he, he who has taught the Quran. He has created hum, the human being and has taught him speech. And the sun and the moon follow courses charted for them. And the stars and the trees bow in adoration. And the heavens has he raised high. And he has set up the balance so that you do not transgress balance. So establish weight with truth and do not fall short in the balance. And it is he who has spread out the earth for creatures. And therein is fruit and date palms producing spades and corn with leaves and stalk for fodder and sweet smelling plants, then which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? Then which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? Alhamdulillah. So a great part of, of our path is actually simply uh, becoming grateful and um, recognizing uh, that we live in a in a paradise, recognizing that we are always with Allah. We are always bathed and 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 infused and and swimming in in Allah's love for us and manifesting as all these divine gifts and uh, and challenges too, because the challenge is also a gift. And uh, when we uh, deepen our understanding, we will realize that even though it might be very painful in the moment but the mature soul says recognizes uh, the gift in the challenge and of course one of the great mature ones Hazreti Rabia uh, did not distinguish between what others would see as challenging times and and times of, of favor or Allah's favor and grace she saw it only as um, a life in Allah and a life of pure gratitude for the um, the outpouring of Allah's uh, love. So that's for us to aspire to. And uh, how can we be grateful when something happens, when something afflicts us? It is, yes. My daughter is leaving. I love you too, Danny. You look beautiful. Alhamdulillah. Um, when something afflicts us, uh, we we turn and we know that Allah is with us, that we are not undergoing this by ourselves and uh, that it is something thrown on our heads by some uh, distant creator. No, this is, uh, we are with in the closest intimacy with Allah um, through this trial, what will be perceived as a trial, because it dislodges us from uh, something we desire or from something that we are used to, or but there can be trials of the heart that are very, very, very painful. But even in those, in the depths of those, there is the place within us uh, that is never hurt, that is never afflicted, that is always um, with Allah, always in union with Allah. And that's where we go. And that is called nearness to Allah. So if a trial comes upon us, we should run uh, back to that, uh, to, to nearness, to um, bowing down, to asking for help. And um, alhamdulillah. And it's interesting that in Shwaib's talk this morning, he, he, he also, he brought in some of these aspects uh, I always find there's a, a confluence with, with the Shwaib's teaching of the Venerdi and the Juma, if it's to follow. So um, one of the mysterious things uh, for me in the Surah Rahman 
was out the Quran. Rahman, it is he who has taught the Quran. So uh, that the Quran seemed to precede the, the creation of the human being. And um, I will read again from Sheikh Noor's chapter on Rahman, how he interprets that. So he says, the subtle human form consisting of pure resonance and radiance is composed for the mystic calligraphy of the universal Quran. This is the secret Mohammedan nature of every precious human being. So again, this is the, the Nur Muhammad, which came first. And um, out of the Nur Muhammad, all, all is created. All souls were created from before eternity, from Nur Muhammad, the Mohammedan light of praise and submission. So the, the light emerges from the hidden essence and declares la ilaha illallah. So this is the perfect um, response of, of, um, of gratitude, of submission, of uh, unity, because through submission, we uh, are in unity. The column of clear radiance that is the axis and marrow of all worlds, and that existed from before all worlds. The first light is the divine luminous wisdom, which is the light of Quran, the living light of every revelation in the entire history of prophecy. Alhamdulillah. So our path is to help us realize that we are living in that divine luminous wisdom. We have never left it. We come from it and we abide in it. I have the amazing bird speaking who came to visit for the Juma. Alhamdulillah. Um, So gratitude is the natural movement. So, and our uh, Jewish is, is constantly grateful, not just to be grateful, you know, when something comes that, that satisfies our, uh, our needs or fulfills us or relieves even a, a, a burden, then of course, naturally we, we are grateful then, but to be gratitude, to be in gratitude all the time. And that means to be in zikr because gratitude is zikr. Peskoruni eskorkum, peskoruli wala tekporuni. Remember me, praise me, be in zikr to me, and you will find me in zikr to you. Be grateful to me and do not hide yourselves, do not cover yourselves. So gratitude is, is presented here as almost the opposite of, of the one, the kafur, the ones who cover themselves, the ones who uh, don't stand in the light of the truth. And, um, and we know we, during our, our days, we, we have those moments uh, of rejection. It's the one who rejects the rebel. Uh, so... Um, but these, these are all tastes. We're given these tastes so we can uh, run back, so we can become even more uh, arduous in, in, our, in our saying la ilaha illallah, in, in our love, in our uh, presence. And um, there is the path. And the path leads to the garden, the garden of paradise. So this is another of Allah's immense bounties. The garden of paradise is within us. And the garden of paradise leads to the garden of the essence, which is simply presence with Allah, simply uh, gazing on Allah, not even engaging in, um, in activities of paradise. For paradise is like an exalted earth almost with very many similar, at least that's how it's uh, presented. Um, but on a, on a level of, of pure joy, pure light, uh, pure divine insight. So we, we see Allah always in paradise, but the garden of essence is that 
for the high lovers who drink from the fountain of kafur, who simply desire Allah, simply desire uh, the divine presence, even without all the adornments of, of, of let's say, human life or par paradisic life. Oh Allah, please include us, make us among the grateful ones, the ones who are always turning to you and um, praising you, demonstrating By um, their, their pristine to be um, be, or by fear. I think Sheikha dropped off. Uh, no, well, I, I just dropped in again. Okay. Um, Salam alaikum, Mustafa. How long was I out? 10, 15 seconds. 10, 15, for the prayer. <laughs> well, inshallah, it'll be a, a coffee prayer. It'll be a coffee prayer. So let's have our, our moment um, of silence and allowing our, our hearts to fill. Let, let's use this. Uh, this moment in the Juma to to simply feel this gratitude filling our hearts, this richness, this life. For gratitude is life. Otherwise, we are we are dead. Alhamdulillah, 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 blessings upon the one who was uh, pure, pure gratitude and pure praise. Uh, when when the, the Prophet was asked, peace be upon him, uh, you know, why he extended his prayers so long and his legs would swell, and he said, am I not a grateful servant? Am I not a grateful servant? Am I not a grateful servant? So may we all be able to say that, each in our own way. We might not extend our salat. We might express our gratitude in, in a different way, subtly. He did that for us. And, and we, we are free, according to our own nature and divine design, to express this gratitude each in our own way. For some, it will be uh, feeding others, feeding uh, squirrels in the park. When, when we lived in New York City, uh, we lived near Central Park and we would go into the park uh, in, in all the seasons and we would meet this woman who had lost her daughter and she became, and she was very poor. She lived in the basement in one of the buildings, but not too far from the park. And she would save all her money uh, to buy peanuts, nuts for the squirrels. And she would be there in the park in all weathers and feeding the squirrels and as a way to express her love. And alhamdulillah, you know, how, how great. So, you know, and we were able to participate a little bit in her own great generosity and gratitude. Um, you know, we'd offer a little something to be able to buy more nuts and um so she was an example of am i not a grateful servant instead of uh, becoming uh, dark and retreating from life she became she actually sacrificed herself for the life of these creatures of allah alhamdulillah
Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Allah. I came to the subject of gratitude through the water, through discussions on, on the water, which is in such peril in the earth, um, through Baki Chaslima's um, town of Las Vegas, New Mexico, what has happened there to the water through the fires and then the floods that the water became contaminated. And through uh, our own contemplation, because we had as a, as a circle, as a group, uh, decided to focus on water and the healing of water. And it's a subject that has come up much in recent times because water is in such danger. Uh, water is disappearing. And, you know, I, if we look deeper at why water is disappearing, we see, of course, all of our practices that are um, not grateful and uh, extractive uh, practices that want to take water for themselves in the form of companies who want to enrich themselves and by um, buying rights to the water, which is completely against uh, divine principles. There are certain things, and, and this is what actually it's said on the lips of the prophet, that both fire and water are common rights and, and grassland, grazing. So they can't be, they should never be owned uh, by uh, individuals or, or by groups who would then restrict their access to others. So um, this for one, this is one of the problems today is that uh, for lack of gratitude, for lack of, of divine vision, uh, a lack of understanding, lack of knowledge about what the creation is and the infinite gifts uh, that pour through creation, the boundless gifts, let's say, uh, rather than infinite, uh, is that um, people have formed, collected together in, in bands and um, to own, to take proprietary ship over uh, resources that belong to everyone just by the nature of things. So this is this is a great um, era that is caused today. <clears throat> so how do we uh, redress this? And then, of course, the the they're all the the poisons, the toxins, the cutting of trees. It, it but it all comes from the same uh, motive. This this a kind of extreme selfishness that comes from maybe fear lack of uh, trust or it's really ignorance ultimately it's ignorance and um and that's the turning away that's the covering up so when we cover ourselves, we cover the truth because we're going to only see the truth really ultimately in ourselves. Uh, even if it's in another it's still with our eyes that see and so um as we unveil we will begin to see truth everywhere and we will begin to see the face of Allah everywhere. And um, so it was really through water. And I, uh, what came to my heart was, um, you know, both in the Old Testaments, in the Torah, and let me not call them old because they are ever eternal and new. Uh, let's say Torah, that's more my conditioning as a, from, previous times um it's usually when people the prophets decry and and they um speak about the the wrongdoings of people toward each other that the the not helping the widows not helping the orphans um selfishness i mean all, all these things exactly these things that are this proprietary ship over uh over the earth and over resources, over what is right for, belongs to everyone, um, the prophets came out so strongly and uh, were connecting, you know, also droughts and things like that to uh, this kind of behavior on earth. 
And I, 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 then I turned my focus on the Quran and I said, well, what does the Quran say? Uh, and in the Quran, it, it's very much about that too, very much about that too. And that's often when the prophets come and then if people do not heed, if they are not uh, changing their ways to, to in inclusiveness, to generosity and kindness and uh, sharing, then often that, you know, a warning comes to pass and, and some dramatic shift will, will come. Uh, but what I also saw was gratitude, is that um, gratitude is so much focused on in the Quran. And that brought me to the Surah Mulk, which um, I will read to you, two, two ayats in, in Surah Mulk, which address it. So this is what came first to my heart, were these two ayats. Say, it is he who has created you and made for you the faculties of hearing, seeing, feeling, and understanding. Little thanks it is you give. So there it is. And this comes back in a, again and again in the Quran that, uh, you know, how few are grateful. Little thanks it is you give. And then the, the, the last ayat, in Surah Mok, say, cool. do you see if your stream is some morning lost, who then can supply you with clear flowing water? Cool. do you see if your stream is some morning lost, who then can supply you with clear flowing water? So Allah speaks the truth and gives us ears and, and understanding to hear the truth. And um, so that is, to me, that speaks of, of gratitude, that we have not been grateful enough and, um, and turning to Allah. So inshallah, my prayer for, um, for water, for all the resources, for the food, uh, for the homes that people are losing at such a rate um, that that even in these conditions, that if we can turn and simply be grateful, <clears throat> that Allah will then uh, remove this burden from from humanity, and 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 the waters will flow, as Allah says, the waters will flow, and the 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 food will will grow and 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 people can live uh, peacefully on earth so may may we uh, who are the these dervishes all dervishes in in the in the path of of the prophet muhammad peace be upon him in the path of pir nurdin peace be upon him of amina taslima his noble mother in the path of of uh, nur of uh, al anwar uh, in, in his path, in his beautiful, majestic path, may, may we be those uh, who are, are the grateful ones and the ones who, inshallah, through their gratitude, can bring back the water and bring back uh, life for people and, and bring back uh, joy and happiness and uh, can wipe the tears from the eyes, as Effendi would say wipe the tears from the eyes of those weeping. Amin, 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 to the secret heart of our peers of Fatiha. Allahumma saniyana Sayyidina Muhammad walani Sayyidina Muhammad wa sabbi wa sallam Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah ar-Rabbil Alameen Rahman ar-Rahim Maniki only din, Iyak and Obudu, Wayak and Asta in, If Dina Sorata Mustakim, Sorata Nedina and Amta and Ahim, Gaidum Magdubi and Ahim, Waladon, Amin, 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 Ya Allah. So when something difficult comes, and it comes in little bits, maybe every day, 
um, just remember, go to that place where we are with Allah. And that's truly the, the, the best and ultimately the only uh, blessing, the ultimate blessing is to be in nearness to Allah. Alhamdulillah. And the path during the trials and during the, the favors, it's, it's always open. It's always open, that wassail, that way to Allah. Amen. Ooh. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Hayya salah, hayya salah. Hail Fala, Hail Fala, Kat Kamata Salah, Kat Kamata Salah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illa la. La ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah, Kam wa Sikka, Staffrullah, 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 Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Latif, Ya Aziz, Ya Nur, Ya Karim. Ya Allah, please accept these tutorka offered for the fars of your glorious Juma prayer, offered for your good pleasure, your good pleasure alone, facing your noble sanctuary, following the clear Quran. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah, Amin. Rahman Rahim, Malik Yomidin, Ya Kana Budu, Ya Kana Stain, Yedina Sirat Mustakin, Sarat Ladina Hinam Nahalehim, Ali Lamum, Ubi Alehim, Wada Dolin. Amin. All that is on earth will perish. But will abide the face of thy Lord, full of majesty, bounty, and honor. Uluman aleha fan, wayabka wachura bika zuljala ali wali kram. Allahu akbar. Allahu akbar. Sami Allah uluman hamida. Rabbana leka alhamd. Allahu akbar. 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 Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Rahman Rahim, Malik Yomidin, Ya Kana Budu, Ya Kana Stain, Yedin Asirat Mustakin, Sarat Ladin Alam Dahalehim, Yari Alam Ongumi Alehim, Wala Dolin. Amin. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, whatever is in the heavens and on earth declares the praises and glory of Allah, for he is exalted in might the wise. It is he who got out the unbelievers among the people of the book from their homes at the first gathering. Little did you think that they would get out, and they thought that their fortress would defend them from Allah. But Allah came to them from quarters from which they little expected, and cast terror into their hearts so that they destroyed their dwellings by their own hands and the hands of the believers. Take warning then, ye with eyes. Sabaha lillahi ma fis samawati wa ma fil ars. Wa huwa al-azizul hakim. 
Bu vallazia kajolazina kafarum min alif kitabi min diyarin ya walil hashr mazanan tum ani yakushu mazanu annahum ani atuhum husunuhum min allahi fatahum lahu min haisulam yatasibu wa kazafa fi kulubihim uruba yuribuna boy atahum biadihim wadi mu'minin fatabiru ya ulil absar allahu akbar allahu akbar sami allahu liman hamida rabbana lakal hamd allahu akbar allahu akbar Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. <clears throat> Mariam, go ahead. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wa la ilaha akbar, wa la hawla wa la quwata illa talala liya wa azim. Allah, la ilaha illa hu, al-hayyul qayyum, la ta'fuduhu sinatun wa la naum, la huma fi al-samawati wa ma fi al-ard, man dalladhi yashfa'u indahu illa bi'zhun, يعلم ما بين يديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بالشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسي السماوات والأرض ولا يؤده حفظهما وهو لا ليه
Shaykh Afari, if you offer the dua, please. I also had asked uh, Saskia to offer 33 La ilaha illallah, Rabia 33 Allah, and Ihsana 33 Who. I've only heard back from Ihsana, so. Okay. Well, then she could do them all. Like, oh, Allah, make us among the grateful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, may we be those ever turning to you. And may we be those who recognize that gratitude is its own reward to be in the state of gratitude is so beautiful one of its roots that uh, i've learned um, from the physicians of the heart is or that has many roots that refer to the milk coming into the breast of the mother the, there's actually a descent just as we speak of a descent of grace and a uh to jelly that there's a descent into the mother's breast of milk when, when it's time to feed or when the child asks. And it, it fills the mother with, um, with a, a sense of fulfillment and, and pleasure and, uh, and gratitude, actually natural gratitude. And so uh, may we, we experience that all, uh, that we, we, we fill all, all our selves, our being be filled with gratitude to you. And, May this be uh, our nourishment. May, may it be our sustenance. Is, is this praise and gratitude to you. Amin, amin, amin. Make our lives become this pure praise and gratitude, O Allah. Amin, for humanity and for, for this creation and for being born in human form with the faculties of hearing and seeing and feeling and understanding that you have given us. I mean, and if ever we are ungrateful, please remind us, gently call us back, for you are waiting for us. You are always waiting for us, Allah, to, to come to you. 
אמין, 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 ולאס שייק מוספר, שייק נור, אז רג'י פיר, אמין ארצס נימה, הוא גייב הם פרס, ונפד הם פרם הר ברסט, ומוחמד סלאללה לאללה לאללה וסלאם, ואלימה, הוא פד הם פרם הר ברסט, ואמינה, מודר אמינה, all the prophets, messengers, and mothers, bless them all for uh, unveiling the, the truth and encouraging humanity and to see the truth of, of their lives in creation. Amin, 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 ya Allah. Ooh. She called the Fatiha. So let's have the la ilaha illallah. Sheikha, if you'd offer the 33 la ilaha illallah, then Rabia and then Hassana. Okay. Salamin lahu. La ilaha illallah, 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 la ilaha illallah. la <laughs> me that ya Allah who 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 Ya Sami, Ya Basir, Ya Allah, Ooh. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum as-salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuhu. Thank you. Um, Luqman, thank you. Um, was Khabir, and thank you, um, all of you, and Rabia and Asana, Mustafa, all of you who put together um, this Juma, and all of you who've come, alhamdulillah. So, amin, may our gratitude grow and grow and grow beyond this world and the next. Amin. It, it's truly its own reward. I mean, when we are grateful. And, and it's, so it's a state to realize. It's really a mystic state. It's a state to, uh, to attain and um, completely separate from, you know, being thankful for something. But I guess you could say we'd be thankful for being created. I mean, is that, you know, an ultimate state or for, for being with Allah, for Allah revealing? Um, Allah's self uh, to us and allowing us to 
share in in Allah's life. I mean, that's <laughs> that's huge. <laughs> that's everything. Thank you. Who? Oh, thank you. Who? <clears throat> oh. Salam alaikum. So now we have the divine name retreat. Musaf, I just need a few minutes to get them. Sure. Okay. Salam alaikum. Barakatuhu. Barakatuhu.